In this video, we're going to set up the integration between Zoho Sign and Zoho CRM. Then we will use the template we created in the last video to send a document. Lastly, we will also use Mail Merge to send a document for signature. Here we are in the Zoho CRM settings. Click on Zoho under Marketplace and scroll down until we see Zoho Sign. Click on Setup Now. Here we're going to check these two boxes and click on Continue to install. I'm going to install it for admins only, but this can be changed later if needed. Confirm. And that's it. We just installed the Zoho Sign extension. Below, we can see all the modules that have been affected by the extension. This means that Zoho Sign is linked to all these modules. All right, we're going to test out the integration. Let's go to Deals and open a deal. Now we have this button called Send with Zoho Sign. Let's click on it. In this new window, we can configure our document. For this example, let's click on Use Template and click on Zoho Sign Templates. In this box, we can select any template we configure in Zoho Sign. Let's pick the agreement one that was configured in the previous video of this course. As you can see, we have this option for marriage fields. These are the fields that have to be filled by us, and we're going to pull the information from Zoho CRM. So for date, we're going to pick created time. Deal name is going to be deal name. And amount is going to be amount. You only need to select these fields once, the first time you use the template. After that, the fields will be auto-selected. Let's check the recipients. The client is the primary contact related to this deal. And the president is myself. Everything else looks good, so let's click on Next. This new window is very similar to the one before, so we're going to click on Continue. And here we have the document with the pre-populated fields from the CRM. The date has been cropped, so that means that we should edit the template and make the field bigger. We're not going to do that during this video. The other fields look good, so let's scroll down. And the signature area also looks good. Here we can see which recipient is the president and which one is the client. All right, let's send this document and click on confirm. The document has been sent, so let's close this window. And we're going to refresh the CRM. On the left, let's click on the Zoho Sign related list. As you can see, we have this document called agreement. That is the one we just sent. We can modify the information we see with this button. I'm going to select created time and created by, but you can also display the document status to see if it is a draft, it was sent, or it is completed. All right, now we're going to configure a mail merge template and use it with the Zoho Sign and CRM integration. Let's go to settings and click on templates under customization. Now click on the mail merge tab. We created and configured this document during the first chapter of this course. Now we're going to add a signature area, so let's edit it. Here we're in Zoho Writer. On the left, click on Fields. And on Signer Fields. These are the fields we can use. We're going to click on the document and add some spaces. And now click on the field signature. Let's add another line break and insert the full name field. I'm going to add some text to identify the signer. All right, let's add another signer. We need some space. And now click on the Add Signer button. We can see that we have two signers. Let's select the second one and click on signature to insert that field. Click on full name to add this field. I'm going to add some text and the document is ready. We have the two areas where the signers will add their signature and name. Let's click on done and on close this tab. If we refresh this page and click on the document, we can see the changes we just made. All right, let's use this mail merge template. Go back to the deals and open a deal. Click on send with Zoho Sign. Now on use template. And we're going to select mail merge templates. Here we're going to choose the one we just edited called proposal. And click on create. The document has been merged with the CRM information. But as you can see, there is only one recipient, which is the deal primary contact. We need to add another recipient. So I'll click on Add Recipients. And here we're going to select the user. This will allow you to select from CRM users. In this case, the user that is already selected is going to sign the document. Click on Next. 
Let's double check the recipients. They look good. So I'll click on continue. And here we have the marriage document that shows all the information from the CRM deal. If we scroll down, we can see the signature area linked to the recipients. Everything else looks good. So let's click on send and confirm. We can close this window and refresh the CRM. Just as before, we can open the Zoho sign related list where we can see the document we just sent.